Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. So today I want to talk you guys through my Accutane experience. Now let me start off by saying that Accutane is a medication that people take for their skin. Um, typically if they have like very severe cystic acne or if you have very persistent, hard to get rid of acne. Um, and I was the second like of the two. Um, and yeah, it was a long and very like, I guess, serious decision to go on it because it is a very serious medication and it's known to have some pretty scary and serious like complications. Um, there's been like reports of people having like suicidal thoughts and depression and a lot of serious like mental um, like effects from it. So that's obviously something to consider before going on it. And I had a long chat with my doctor, um, but at the end of the day, I decided to go on Accutane. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to preface it with that. Um, I didn't want this video to come off as, you know, you have a pimple or a breakout and you should just go run to the doctor and get prescribed Accutane. No, obviously that's not what I'm recommending. Um, but I know when I was kind of deciding whether to go on it or to not go on it, I was watching all of these videos and I found them really helpful to hear from other people's experiences. So let's hop on into it. Okay, so a quick little background about my story. I will link some videos down below if you want to see like more thorough videos on everything. Um, but yeah, I've kind of struggled with acne my whole life ever since I was about 13 years old, like ever since I started to kind of hit puberty. And it was never anything extreme or cystic or really something that bothered me that much at the time. Um, it was just like small little red breakouts. Sometimes I would get like a few under the skin, those really like deep, annoying, sore pimples that you can't really do anything about. Um, so yeah, I definitely had acne prone skin. I was very oily at the time too. I initially started off by going on proactive. So yeah, I kind of used that for about three, four years on and off. Um, I would kind of go through phases of using it religiously and then I would be like, you know what, I need a break, Accutane, or uh, not Accutane, proactive isn't good for my skin. Whoa, did you guys just see that lightning? I saw that in the reflection of my mirror. Oh my gosh, it is storming. Whoa, it was such a beautiful day five minutes ago. That came out of nowhere. Um, anyways, where was I? But um, yeah, so I would use it on and off again, but I was still never really happy with it or really happy with my skin. So I experimented a ton at using every single product from the drugstore to using like really natural products, to using really high-end expensive products. I experimented with basically everything you could find. Now if you're a subscriber or if you've seen my videos before, you probably know that I have more of a holistic approach to kind of beauty and skincare and um, I really would prefer to use natural options and I wanted to find a natural way to kind of heal my skin. So yeah, I started to examine a lot of my habits and what I was doing and really tried to find like the root of my acne and why I was getting so many breakouts. So I would do everything from, you know, changing my pillow sheets religiously every single night to never touching my face, cleaning off my phone all the time, drinking literally liters of water every day. Um, I also went vegan probably, I think when I was like 15, 16. Um, so I completely cut out all dairy products because I know that's very inflammatory. Um, and yeah, I was eating fairly clean and healthy foods and lots of vegetables. And, and I really was just trying to do anything to get clear skin. Um, and I feel like no matter what I did, like nothing worked. There was better days, there were worse weeks, but it was still never good. And I just, I had no idea why. Oh my gosh, the thunder is like, whew, freaking me out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the situation we were dealing with. Um, and then when I was 17, I decided to go to a dermatologist. So this was about two years ago now. And it was kind of an underwhelming experience. She just kind of recommended that I get her products and that I get a chemical peel in blue LED light treatment. So I ended up, I was so desperate at the time, and I was like, yep, I'll do anything, let's just try it. Let's try all my options. And I ended up getting a chemical peel, which was a horrible experience, and I, I would never do it again. But, you know, some people swear by them. I actually did a whole story time video on it because my face looked like this for about two-ish weeks after that. It was, it was so bad, and there was no results and really no benefit of doing it other than putting myself through the trauma. And yeah, I did the blue LED light. I didn't really see any results. And, you know, I was literally trying to do anything. Um, and I always had kind of heard about Accutane. And I, I think Accutane is more of like the name brand. What I have here, the medication that I got prescribed isn't even Accutane. Um, it's isotretinoid. I think that's how I say it. This one is specifically called Epurus, but Accutane, it's all the same thing. It's the isotretinoid, which is the actual, um, like the actual medication. Um, and yeah, I had always heard friends kind of going on it and I heard mixed kind of feelings, whether it was good or bad, but I just, I just kind of thought of it as this scary thing that I never wanted to do. And especially too, because I do have more of that natural kind of approach to things. I wasn't a huge fan of putting any medications in my body and I just, I didn't really want to ever have to go that route. 
but I am so glad that I did. Accutane has literally changed my life. And I know that sounds so dramatic. It's like, oh, it's just skin, like get over it. But no, it really has. My skin is like, there. I love my skin. It is so clear and even and I just, oh, I'm so glad that I decided to go on it. I was actually originally planning on filming this video with no makeup on, but I just kind of decided to sit down and do this right now. Um, I do have foundation on and concealer, so don't be fooled. So this is lighting. It looks extra good always on camera, but I will link some makeup tutorials where I have no makeup on from the past few months. Um, that way you guys can kind of see it in real time, but I will be inserting photos through the whole kind of story. That way you guys can see photos and references and kind of see the progression from there. So once your dermatologist kind of gives you the okay to go on Accutane, you kind of have to be on like a schedule. So it was like a four week kind of cycle. So every four weeks, every month, I would go into the dermatologist um, and we kind of go over my blood. So I'd have to get my blood taken every month and she would just check in, see how I'm feeling. And I was under a very watchful eye just to make sure that everything was good because obviously, like I said, it is a pretty serious medication. Know that getting into it, that it is a bit of a time commitment. So I started on Accutane back in mid-October of 2016 and I was on it for about six months. So originally the first month that I went on it, she kind of wanted to ease me into it. So she only prescribed me half of my full dosage. So I was originally on 30 milligrams for the first month. So I was taking one pill every single morning for 30 days. And she kind of warned me that the second month was gonna be the worst. So basically what happens when you're on Accutane, I believe it's a high concentration of vitamin A. Don't quote me, I'm no doctor. But basically the medication kind of dries you up from the inside out so that way your skin can't really produce any oil or make any acne. So, I mean, of course there's symptoms of having really dry lips, dry hair, dry skin, um, and some other symptoms which I will go over as well. But, um, so she kind of warned me the second month was going to be the worst. It was going to kind of purge everything out and then it would gradually get better from there. So luckily the first month I didn't really have any bad side effects. Um, here's a photo of what my skin looked like going onto it. And actually, I remember when I was taking these photos, I was like, wow, my skin even looks good today. So this was a good skin day for me, which again, it's all very relative. Um, this might be an amazing skin day for someone. This might be a horrible skin day for someone else. I'm obviously very aware that everyone deals with different degrees of acne and it affects everyone differently. And of course, my acne was not the most severe case at all. But I mean, that being said, it was still something that affected me and um, something that I really wanted to get under control. So basically, my symptoms the first month, um, I had slightly dry lips, nothing unbearable, but I always had to have a lip balm on me, and slightly dry skin. Um, coming into it though, I did have oily skin, so it just kind of made my skin normal. It wasn't like dry or flaky, it just made it less oily. Um, I also noticed that my eyes kind of got blurred vision this first month. It wasn't anything severe to the point that I was like, I need to stop this medication. And I kind of knew that this could be a symptom. I think it's because it really, you know, takes some moisture out of your eyes. So it was a little blurrier for me. And I found it really hard to kind of wear and put in contacts just because my eyes were a bit more sensitive. Um, and I also found that I had a slight lower back pain. Now I'm pretty sure muscle aches are common on the medication. And it was really only like my lower back. It would just kind of get, it would just get sore for no reason. Um, or especially if I worked out. Okay, so moving on to month two. This was now my first time taking the full dosage of 60 milligrams. So I was taking the 60 milligrams every single morning. And by the time month two had started, I didn't really notice anything physically different with my skin. Like it still had acne, still looked the same. Here's a photo for reference. Anyway, so during this month, I kind of experienced the worst amount of symptoms. Um, so again, I just got a lot more dry. My lips were very, very dry. It was kind of to the point where I could just kind of like touch my lip and it would like roll off the skin. Like it was just like, it could just peel off. It was really weird. It was almost like, it's kind of gross to like compare it to this, but like snake skin, like peeling off. Like, um, anyways, my lips were just kind of gross in general. Um, and they were also kind of cracked and bloody and they just weren't that cute. But you know what? I can deal with cracked lips. Um, I also had some dry patches on my face, which was totally new for me because coming from a background of super, super oily skin, now having dry patches and like having to deal with foundation not going on my dry patches, it was this whole thing. But yeah, I definitely had super, super dry skin, not only on my face, but the back of my hands, especially because like you wash your hands a ton. Um, they were always very chapped and red and kind of bumpy and they looked a little gross. But again, I had expected this. And yeah, I just continued to have like dry eyes, lower back pain. And um, obviously it was kind of itchy because I was so dry. I also think that it didn't really help that we were kind of going into winter. So it was snowing, it was getting cold. So of course the weather obviously has an effect on your skin. So the combination of being on Accutane and it being winter here in Canada, it probably was not the best combo. Also towards the end of this second month, my skin really started to purge and it got to 
it got it got really bad um and not only like it was red and physically had bumps it was very sore like it was kind of cystic under the skin like oh i didn't even want to put makeup or touch it i just it was very very painful um and i actually ended up filming a video on how i cover my acne because i wanted to film a video and share with you guys when my acne was the worst like how i deal with it how i cover it with makeup or cover it up with makeup um so i'll link that up above give it a watch take a look at my skin and also just quickly while we're talking about makeup um, I know there's a lot of mixed thoughts about wearing makeup on acne. It's totally a personal thing. I talked to my dermatologist about it. She wasn't too concerned, um, which actually was kind of weird to me. She wasn't very concerned at all with the topical things I was using on my skin. Um, she was kind of like, this medication is so strong. It doesn't matter what you do. It's going to fix your problem kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I continued to wear makeup, not on a daily basis, but fairly regularly, um, like including foundation, concealer. And I didn't really notice that it had or didn't have an effect. It just kind of, you know, was my skin was doing its thing regardless. And then, yeah, kind of moving on to month three all the way to month six when I finished. It was like uphill from there. It was really weird. My skin suddenly got super, super soft. Like my hands were super soft. My face got so soft. And my skin literally cleared up. Like I think it probably happened within like a two week kind of span from it being at its worst and super red and crazy and pimples everywhere to two weeks later like being completely clear so yeah i was pretty much in awe because it really was two weeks seeing both extremes having the worst and the best skin of my life i still had dryness on my lips a bit of dry skin but it was becoming more tolerable tolerable um each month and my skin was literally getting more even more clear better every single day and i am just so so grateful that it worked I honestly I was skeptical going into it I didn't think it would work and whew, it did so like I said I do have makeup on right now but here's a photo that I took this morning standing in front of my window um, no makeup on fresh out of bed woke up like that um, and yeah my skin is clear like I, I honestly never thought I would say that and I quickly just kind of want to talk you through the actual skincare products that I use like I said, my doctor didn't seem too concerned with it. At first though, my dermatologist said to go on Cetaphil and to use the Cetaphil Basic Cleanser and the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. And honestly, I hated both of these products. I know it's very basic and simple and non-irritating, but honestly, it didn't do anything for my skin. It did not help retain any moisture. This cleanser just kind of felt gross. I was honestly not a big fan. So I stopped using that about three, three, four months into it, I was kind of like, you know what, I'm going to just do what makes my skin feel good. I obviously checked with my dermatologist before switching over and um, she was fine with it. So I ended up using Herbalism from Lush, which is kind of like a solid cleanser that you take a piece off and you can use it every day. Um, I do have a more thorough updated skincare routine, which I will link up above and that kind of talks you through these products a bit better. Uh, but then also what I think was kind of game changing for me was this moisturizer. This is Celestial Moisturizer. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. This was my favorite moisturizer before even going on Accutane. It is just so, so amazing for your skin. It makes your skin feel so soft and beautiful and oh, I love this thing. I could not recommend it enough. This is actually formulated for sensitive skin as well. So I kind of felt good going onto it. And again, I think you just kind of have to listen to your body. And I knew that this was making my skin physically feel the best. So I was like, why am I going to use anything else? So yeah, it just kind of looks like a plain everyday little face lotion. But this thing is magic. I, I absolutely love it. I really do. And what I would even do with that cream, um, sometimes my nose would get really dry. Oh, I didn't even talk about that. This is a little TMI, but I would literally wake up from a night's sleep and my nose would be so sore because it had like cracked and bled in the middle of the night and it would like scab over and then I would go to blow my nose and it would bleed more because it was just so, so, so dry. Um, anyways, I was doing Vaseline for a little bit because that's what my dermatologist said to do. Like put that as like your lip balm and, and your nose if it gets dry and on like your hands. Vaseline, it didn't really, I mean, it was all right. It didn't really improve anything though. It just kind of maintained. But I honestly started using this moisturizer like literally up my nose. I would take a Q-tip and just kind of like coat the inside. And um, this works so good. I would also put this on my lips sometimes too. This is like my magic like cream that got me through my rounds of Accutane. It was so good. But what I would also do um, is a really generous layer of lip balm. Like literally every two hours I would reapply it. And I would not leave the house without it. Like it is just not an option when you're on Accutane. You need to have a lip balm on you 24-7. So my favorite one during this whole process is the Bite Agave Lip Mask. And I had tried like Blistex. I was using a Glossier one for a while. 
um, some more medicated ones, but honestly this bite one is the best. It's so thick. It feels like you're putting like honey on your lips, but it's so good because that thick layer really just locks in all this moisture and it doesn't come off very easily. So I found that I had to reapply this less than a typical moisturizer. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend using this and just like at nighttime, like layer this baby on, just like cover your lips in it. This was again, very essential. Okay, I feel like this was a little all over the place, but um, I think that covered everything that I wanted to talk about. So yes, the verdict is Accutane did wonders for my skin. It was such a positive experience for me. That being said, obviously do your research, talk to your doctor before doing anything. And of course, if you guys have any questions, I'm gonna be doing my best to kind of go through the comments and reply to everyone and um, answer any other questions that you have or anything that I missed. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video before I ramble anymore. I already feel like I'm talking super, super fast, but it's just because I'm really excited about it. Um, but yeah, I hope if you're watching this, if you are you know, just starting to take Accutane or you're in that phase where your skin is purging and you're like, why am I doing this? This is awful. Um, I wish you the best of luck. I hope your skin journey and your Accutane journey turns out um, as positive um, as it was for me. I really do um, I really do feel lucky that I did have such a positive experience and I hope you guys that are going through it, I, I mean I hope everything works out for you guys too. Anyways, thanks guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! three that I would kind of cycle through an Aeropostale tight tight shirt and then hoop earrings silver hoop earrings and that was my look um, if I can find any photos if I haven't deleted them I'll insert some here but yeah I was definitely a, a big fan of the hoops back in the day and I'm just getting back into them and it feels it feels so good